fascia allows us to be stronger in odd positions, and that is sport. Hi, my name is Bill Parisi. I'm the founder of the Parisi Speed School. We started back in 1992. We've been in business. I've been a coach for now 30 plus years. We've trained over a million athletes. Uh, we put hundreds of guys in the NFL, Major League Baseball, NBA, all different types of pro athletes. But our focus has been the youth and high school athlete. I've seen how important connective tissue has become to athletic performance. You know, connective tissue is not understood as much as it needs to be in the uh, world of athletic performance training. I think for the last 40 or 50 years, we've been focused on the cardiovascular, muscular, and nervous system. Uh, the big three, if you will. Now there's really the big four. It's the connective tissue system. It starts with fascia, which is a collagen mat matrix throughout the body uh, that holds every cell together. We know it as the endomyosin, perimyosin, epimyosin. Uh, that is connective tissue. It's a, it's a collagen uh, a fiber that is the same type of collagen that's in tendons and, and ligaments, just aligned differently. Uh, fascia is a lot more hydrated. It's it's 90% water and collagen. It's known as the extracellular matrix. It holds cells together. So fascia plays a very important role in athletic performance, specifically in injury resiliency. Research is now showing over 80% of uh, soft tissue injuries are in the collagenous tissue, the connective white collagen tissue. Uh, and this is trainable. I think it's very important to train the connective tissue system. And you gotta understand when we train, whether we do strength training, you know, sprint training, power training, all systems are always in play, right? We're using all systems all the time. It's the percentage of what system we're using. We know obviously if we go out for an aerobic activity, we're using more of the cardiovascular aerobic system, right? We're doing weight training, obviously it's more of the muscular system, right? Technical skills, more the nervous system. All the systems are in play, but we understand, we, we, we haven't really given the fascia system enough attention or credit because we didn't understand it for a long time and that's because we didn't have the imaging equipment to understand it. In the last decade or so, the uh, technology and ultrasound equipment has come a long way, so now we understand fascia a lot more. Now that we have the imaging equipment, uh, we can see it, we can see the proprioceptors in it, we can see what it does and how it's trained. And as performance coaches, we need to address this system the ideal way to train the connective tissue system is you know a lot of bouncing type of activity uh, jumping rope type of activity activity low lower level plyometrics is going to train that that free energy that free recoil having stronger connective tissue that provides greater stability around the joints allows the muscles to fully contract higher motor unit recruitment to be stronger in odd positions Fascia allows us to be stronger in odd positions, and that is sport. The way you go about improving fascia training, you don't even realize, but medicine ball throwing is fascia training. So bouncing activity, uh, odd positional strength, med ball training, uh, obviously the Vertimax, doing different types of resisted or loaded dynamic activity. A great tool called the Viper, which is an odd positional strength tool. Aqua bag training, all these types of training not only trains muscles and stabilization and nervous system, but what gives the body stabilization is the fascia system as well as muscles co-contracting. So the essence of athletic performance is really the ability to co-contract and create pulses of stiffness. The biggest benefit of properly training connective tissue is injury resiliency because the best ability is availability.